and so I thought today I would show you my colouring in setup and my collection and what I colour and how I've been colouring. Uh, I've been doing a lot of it while in isolation so I thought it'd be interesting for you all to see what I've been up to. So this is my colouring in station. So right now I'm working on the Harry Potter colouring in book. I've got a little bit of the way through and as you can see I nearly finished this Dumbledore sheet. What I like about this book is how detailed all the pictures are. So you can spend a long time colouring them in, um, but it's totally worth it. So when you look quite close, you can see how many little layers and lines and things there are to actually colour in on each page. Um, so I use mostly the Faber-Castell, um, just, you know, the tricolour, the regular colouring in pencils. Um, some of them are very, very well used and are quite small. But I find that they give you the best colours, the brightest colours, they blend the best. And that sort of thing. So I've got yeah, a pack of the 12s that I've nearly finished and are quite small. And then I've got a pack of the bigger ones. Um, so in these bigger ones, you get a few more different colours rather than just the plain ordinary colours. Um, for some of my other colouring in books, I have uh, the Beak Kids Textures. I find these ones are very pigmented and I like the range of colours. Um, I do also use the Faber-Castell Connectors for some colouring because I find them quite good. They've always been good to me. Um, I also got these, the big pencils. I don't find them as good as the Faber-Castell. They're a little bit, what's the word? Very um, pale and almost transparent. Like if you want to get quite a pigmented colour, you have to really press hard. Um, so I, yeah, I prefer the Faber-Castell ones. Also at my colouring desk, I have a sharpener. Um, with a little barrel so I don't have to get up all the time, an eraser, um, water, music, earphones and my iPad and another book and my diffuser. I find that um, when colouring sometimes you can go through to the next side so I always make sure that I put a piece of paper in between each page when I'm pressing down it doesn't go into the next um, one and get colours all on the inside. So currently I have four books on the go. So the other ones I've got um, is this Disney Princess one. So this one here is a bit of a all the princesses. It's quite big. I've been colouring it for a, just over a year and I'm actually nearly finished it. So when I'm done I'll do a flip through but yeah I usually try and do this one in text style because it's a little bit brighter. Um, the backgrounds, I was, when I first started, I was making sure to colour in all the backgrounds as well for most of them, but some of them have, you know, a lot of space, so in the newer ones, I've actually stopped doing that. So I also got the same brand, I really like these Ultimate Colouring Books, is the Toy Story 4. Um, so that's the same, I've only been colouring it for a little bit, I only got a bit of the way through. But I'm using the Faber-Castell pencils on here because the colours are really bright and I wanted to keep with the theme of the movies, you know, the really bright colours, um, that sort of thing. And then my last book that I'm colouring is the same brand, but it's just the Little Mermaid one. So my favourite Disney movie is The Little Mermaid. Um, so when I saw this one, I needed to have it, even though I had heaps of others. So this, I've actually stopped colouring the backgrounds because it was taking too long. I thought it was a little bit unnecessary um, and as you can see you don't really need it because a lot of them here have these details that fill up the backgrounds which I think is very cool. Um, I try as well to keep true to the movies so with the correct colours for all the hair and the sets and that sort of thing. So I really enjoy these ones and it's a very good way to keep busy in isolation. I would highly recommend it. Um, so if you enjoyed seeing how I colour in please um, like and comment with what you're doing in isolation and please like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Bye!